Hello, I'm Dr. Joey Vargo, a radiologist, Baptist Health Corbin, and have been working with uh, Executive Director of Oncology Service Lines, uh, Leanne Jones, uh, in concordance with UK CARES uh, grant program uh, on a uh, project, uh, project race, radon awareness and clinical education uh, for evaluation of specifically within our current market, uh, information around uh, radon uh, discussion with patients, uh, along with shared decision making around lung cancer screening and smoking cessation counseling. Uh, Kentucky obviously leads the nation in number of uh, new cases and deaths from lung cancer. Uh, and clearly as a medical community, we've all established the understanding that uh, smoking is a very strong contributor uh, to uh, development of lung cancer. Uh, but what's lesser known is that radon exposure is the second leading cause, accounting for about 10 to 15 percent of uh, lung cancer cases, and especially uh, when that's combined with smoking. Uh, primary care providers, again, as I alluded to, uh, often discuss the risk and benefits of, uh, you know, smoking cessation along with lung cancer screenings. Uh, on a uh, daily basis with patients. So the overview of our uh, project was to uh, evaluate uh, current shared decision-making conversations uh, to see if those do uh, include uh, discussion of uh, radon exposure. Uh, also uh, to provide a CME uh, to uh, the current medical community uh, around the health risk of radon exposure uh, and to provide patients with education and home radon kits. Uh, additionally, uh, along with any uh, project, uh, we wanted to look at how we could uh, enhance uh, EHR workflow that would make this more in line uh, and convenient for providers uh, to carry out uh, and document uh, this, this shared decision-making discussion. Our target population were primary care providers and patients in uh, four counties uh, in our area, uh, and, and those having uh, EPA radon zones uh, one and two, uh, zone one uh, being the highest risk of uh, ground uh, radon exposure, which is Pulaski County, and then zones two, uh, Knox, Laurel, and Whitley. Uh, the project timeline uh, extended over uh, September 21st through uh, nearly March uh, 31st of 2022. Uh, I won't go into a lot of detail here, but uh, it is important to note that, that during this timeline, uh, at least a couple of the challenges of the project uh, were that uh, it was during a, a very, uh, a very uh, busy uh, second wave of COVID. Uh, so not only were primary care providers uh, dealing with those important issues, uh, but also hospital resources uh, such as uh, nurse navigators or, or chart abstractionists. Uh, or even uh, I IT staff were very uh, um, focused on that top priority at hand during the, that time, which created some uh, challenges in this project. Uh, the initial uh, scope of the project was to evaluate a baseline of uh, number one, lung cancer screening tests that were being uh, ordered, uh, the shared decision making that was being performed and was uh, the dangers of combined uh, tobacco smoke and radon being discussed in that. Uh, two out of uh, five uh, providers uh, that were asked uh, ordered uh, concurrently at that time or had in the, in the recent months uh, 16 to 25 low-dose CTs, and uh, three of the five reported uh, ordering greater than 25 uh, low-dose CTs. Um, the uh, results in the past 12 months demonstrated that uh, the combined discussion of radon and smoking exposure uh, was uh, very low. Uh, five out of five reported uh, that no at no time had they discussed uh, any, any type of uh, radon exposure uh, during the shared decision making. Uh, additionally, uh, none had recommended any rate radon testing uh, in, in the patient's home. Uh, and this it becomes important uh, as we started to establish the educational program. Uh, again, educational material and radon testing materials uh, provided uh, from the University of Kentucky 
uh, in how we would uh, devise uh, education for the providers and ability for them to uh, give the patients materials and uh, uh, potentially tools to evaluate in their own home to create uh, uh, create more awareness. Uh, some of the materials uh, that, that were created, uh, you can see there, there were uh, pamphlets, uh, brochures that were distributed uh, to the five participating providers in clinics, uh, as well as test kits uh, that were available to, uh, made available to patients. Uh, during the uh, time frame evaluated uh, over the course of uh, several months, uh, you can see the number of low-dose CTs that were ordered. Uh, again, uh, relatively low number, but uh, corresponding uh, to uh, other, uh, you know, infectious disease priorities that, that were occurring at the time, uh, un understandably so, but for a total of about 62 uh, low-dose CTs that were ordered. Uh, smoking cessation uh, was documented uh, for all the current smokers. Uh, and uh, often even these shared decision-making uh, elements were inconsistently documented. Uh, and we did see increase uh, in radon discussion uh, within that shared decision-making uh, after the educational period uh, of up to about 5%. Uh, again, uh, the initial idea would be to use uh, some type of automated uh, chart abstraction uh, for evaluation of uh, of the shared decision making elements um, uh, in a way where higher numbers could be evaluated, uh, but given uh, the IT uh, resource constraints at the time, these were uh, these resources really weren't available. Uh, however, we we do believe that the inconsistency in the SDM uh, documentation and relatively low numbers uh, in in provider discussions evaluated suggests that a smart phrase would be beneficial. Uh, to be added uh, to the EPIC environment uh, around uh, the shared decision-making process, and even so including uh, the, the combined radon uh, discussion uh, to really support and, and guide these conversations, but also uh, increase our ability to, uh, to audit records uh, in a way to understand impact of certain educational programs uh, and where education may need to be directed uh, for, for the benefit of uh, continue discussion with, with the patients. Uh, 